Hey, do you know that Rashford, Holden, and Garnacho have not lost a game yet when they're starting? What? That front three. What? Now attacking front three, Rashford left wing, Hoyland striker, Garnacho right wing has not lost a game when they're starting together. That has not happened yet. How many games have they started together? It's about nine or ten. They haven't lost any. And who are those games against? We need to see. It could be like you faced a bunch of the. You got Liverpool. You got Villa, who we beat. I get at Villa Park. We got Spurs, who we drew with two two. That attack started. Uh, I think it was Luton. Uh, Villa at home as well. For me, when you play Liverpool again, <laughs> let's oh, see. Bro, I got something for them. I got something for them. Come on, come on, Trafford again. Come on, Trafford again. Okay. I got, I got something for them. I got something for them. Guys, clip that up in case it goes wrong. <laughs> I got something for them, bro. What you mean? By the way, you know. Ten, by the way, you know Ten, ha Ten Hag has beaten Klopp more times than Klopp's beaten him. By the way, you know that, right? He's beaten him twice. He's beaten him twice. Both at Old Trafford. And a draw. Okay. And a draw at Anfield. Just a seven 0 It was a it was a bad result. Listen, by the result. time Arsenal come to OT, we might the, the league might have been wrapped up. I'm trying to remember. It's the yeah, second last game. I don't, game I don't mind losing it. You're the only game left to have this season. I don't mind losing to because I it's have the second last game of the season. To be fair, I have an alliance. Yeah. I'm not I need right to now. hear from yeah. Alan and Josh. You see a lot of confidence from Gregs about Manchester United. Do you guys? Do you guys look behind your shoulders and look at Manchester United at all? So for for me, this is it's kind of ironic the fact that how far Man United have fallen when it gets to March, they win a cup game against Liverpool. And that is the spark of their season where they come back and be triumphant. Man United have fallen so far that they're a joke. It's as simple as that. Yeah, talk to me, talk to me, man. I guarantee you I'm still winning a trophy before you. That's for sure. That is for absolute sure. And it might be this year. Yeah, it might be this year. It, it's true. But you're still not beating Spurs or Villa in the, in the league this season. You're not getting ahead of us. I mean, I... Villa twice. I right, think. Joe, what are you saying? Uh, I know you got to go in a couple of seconds. You're us in the season, uh, like finishing ahead of us. I fear, I fear, Man U more than Spurs, and I think well, that he, Griggs has got a good point just... because you talk about Egal that it's silly to say in March your season ignited with ten games to go. Well, let me put it this way: to two examples. Number one, Aston Villa. I know a different league, different level, but momentum for Villa season happened in the championship to get promoted when we went on a 10 to 12 game unbeaten run around this time when Jack Grealish returned from injury. We were dead and buried. We were sat in a position where playoffs looked inevitable and we managed to climb. And that's where we clawed our season back. Now I'm going to put it the other way, the top end of the Premier League table. Arsenal season could fall in 10 games. You've been at the top or near the top for the whole season. But you know what? It's all about how you end a race. It's all about how you finish. And so those last 10 games, this is why if Manchester United come on strong for the next 10 games and Villa and Spurs are not near those levels and we can't grind out the performances and we only win five out of our next 10 or we win four out of our next 10, United no matter how poor they've been, and everyone talks about how bad they've been to watch this season, if they finish strong and end above us, who cares about how United have wasted a whole season? Who cares about the style of play that Ten Hag's had? Who cares about this concussion that's nearly knocked him out, but Liverpool somehow he's taken a tablet and now he's fine again, right? And so we judge Liverpool. We're going to judge Man City. We're going to judge Arsenal on these next 10 games in the Premier League because ultimately that is the decider. So... Would I rather, would you rather be, let me put it this way, would you rather be Spurs, who started the first 10 games flying, or would you be Man United, end the last 10 games well? Which one would you rather? So you're, you're answering with a hypothetical, because we don't know no, what the last 10 games are going to do. I'm, I'm by the I'm way, I've seen Griffin. this happen before, by the way. I've seen this happen, this exact story in 2019-20, when Leicester were in the top four the whole year, mm -hmm. United were asked the whole mm -hmm. year, lockdown happened. We came back. I got my guys back. Pogba, Rashford returned, and that ten, and those, we played about I think thirteen. Locked games. Lockdown Martial. Lockdown Martial. We, we cannot. We'll never forget. Those thir We were. It was thir I think it was about fourteen games left. United didn't lose a single one of them. <clears throat> I know oh, what yeah, this team Bruno. can do. Bruno as well. When he came in, he also did their spark. I know what this United team can do. I know how bad they are, and I know how good they are. And God, what did I tell you about three months ago? I say. Liverpool are the final boss of stealing points when they don't when they don't deserve to get them. But the apprentice, the prince of that, is Manchester United. And we know how to steal points. 
we didn't deserve to get three points at Villa Park, but McTominay no, scored a winner. Yeah. I this team has met and what one thing that okay, Spurs have a, a human son, right? But outside of human son, they don't really have a match winner. I have a bunch of them. I have a Rashford, I have a Bruno, I have a Hoyland, I have a Garnacho, and right now I might even have an Ahmad. I know my guys, these guys can win matches. And I told mm-hmm. all I got is 10 games, 10 finals. Ten Hag said we have every game is a final for the rest of the season. Let's adopt that mentality. And I think Liverpool was the first step. I think winning that game is going to be a big lift on this team. <clears throat> they needed that win because they the season would have been over if you lost that game. It would have been over. You're out of your final cup and you just got, got another loss to your biggest rival. Now you have an international break. You can heal the bodies and all that kind of stuff. And you come back. First game is Brentford away. That's a tough game. Go get three points under the lights at that stadium. And then we go from there. So I think United, I think United got a shot. All of that for got a shot. Thanks for that. Well, I got a shot. That's what that's what I asked for. I, I, ten games. I'm gonna go hunting now. All these, you got home, all these match winners. You got all these match winners. Why have you got just a home, shot? You I'm behind. It? The pressure's not on me. The pressure's on your two clubs. Don't bottle it to me. We're the, we've been we've been we've been horrible the whole year. Don't let the worst United team in our lifetime beat get top four because then the league is cooked. This is a shit United. I, I, just, I just want to say, I just want to say one thing quickly. We got, over a thousand, we got over a thousand people watching. <clears throat> Big up to you guys on a Tuesday evening at around 10 o'clock. We got over a thousand people watching on all platforms. So big up to all you guys. Do me a favor, hit that goddamn <clears throat> like button right now. It's absolutely free. And of course, don't forget to come check us out on YouTube because it doesn't cost a penny and it definitely supports the channel massively. So please do that right now. Before we go any further, I'm just going to ask you guys. For who do you think is going to make top four, and who do you think is going to finish fifth, and where do you where do you think the balls will fall with 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 the with the with the top four and European spots? So not the top three. Forget about the top three. Can the I, title just, I wanted before we do that. Can I just um, I just wanted to obviously come back at Griggs and obviously for you. Let's look back to the start of the season. The eve of the season, Spurs lose Harry Kane. <clears throat> Rivals and pundits alike, Spurs, bottom half team, most going relegation candidates and all this BS that went with it. Are Spurs anywhere near that? I never no. heard that. No, I never United. heard that. Oh, nah, who said it's relegation candidate? That's crazy. Hold on. hold on. No, no, no. There was a lot of people saying nah. that. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was. Trust me. Uh, nah. Again, we didn't strings together where people were saying stuff like that. So again, yeah, them guys got the same concussion. Obviously, they're bantering. Obviously, they're bantering. Banter. Obviously they're bantering. banter. That's people, banter. Loads people, That's banter. Loads of people, hold on, let me finish. Loads of people on the socials as well. Uh, Harry Kane's gone. Spurs relegation. You can shake your head all you banter. want. Banter. Banter. It's absolutely true. <clears throat> again, I've sat and let you guys talk, and now obviously you're talking over me. So there's a truth to that. Um, oh, let's talk about the start of the season when Man United fans were going, "Hold on, but the, what stuff we're doing? There could be a title charge here." Would would I rather be at this point in the season, Spurs in their season, based on way, how we start the season, or Man United? I'd rather be Spurs right now, in the fact that we start a new thing and where people had us all the same, we we're going to finish to where we are now, compared to what Man United fans were tooting their own horn and were you going to challenge for a title and do all that to where you are now? I'd rather be in Spurs' shoes. I'd rather be in Spurs' shoes. <clears throat> I never said you. You are. You are. I better be in your shoes because you're in the top five. So I understand that you're. you're you know, aspect of where we are going, where we are going with this manager and all type. Of oh, in the future, the nah, I'll take. I'll take my. <laughs> I'll take my squad. I'll take my. I'll take my ownership group. I'll take my money because I. Because okay. I, I believe I have. The, we have the money to retool much quicker. And if I get the, all I need is the right gaffer. Then right. If if any. Oh, so everything's fine at United, and you just need the right manager. Everything's perfect. You just need the right manager. That's what you just. Obviously, said. I need I need I need some re- I need some I need better players as well. But my nucleus, I have a nucleus now. <laughs> for the first I, time, when United are going into a rebuild, I have a nucleus to build around. I have my number nine for the future, for the next decade in Rasmus Hoyland. Okay. I have my I have my my star boy and Chloe Mainu, who I know I can build the midfield around. I have Marcus Rashford, who can still provide goals and assists and all that kind of stuff. I have Diogo Dalo, who for me can end up. He's only twenty. Are you saying you're in a better situation than Tottenham going forward? Yes, we said. Yeah, I agree. Alan, Alan is worried. He's worried. You're you're fearing that slip up. I think. Bro, I'm ne- there's never going to come a point where I think Spurs are in a better situation than Man United. Yeah, I'm never reaching that point. Hold on, hold on. No chance. You're saying, you're saying I'm fearing the slip up when I predicted my team sixth. How's that slip up from where we are now? How's that slip up? What do you mean slip? We own fifth. So you, you're worried okay. that United are going to you're overtake about, You're saying about a slip-up. I had Spurs have predicted at sixth. So if Spurs finish sixth for a thing, 
that's a, a, a Spurs season I was expecting. That's so Spurs. Spurs. That's so Spurs. No, 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 no
It's just uh, if, if we get fifth, because I think fifth gets a UCL spot. So let's say fifth gets a UCL spot. It's just a salvage to the season. That's pretty much it. Okay. Just so you only season. think you're going to finish above one of these two teams. Which one is it? I think Spurs because they have the tougher schedule. Thank you for watching. This has been Eagles Hawks Football. If you enjoyed that video, please do make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button. Check out these next two videos right here on each side of me. And of course, you can subscribe right there.